Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3.1 update video. We are back with uh, Witcher 3 complete edition. Uh, first things first, this will be the Steam version. Uh, so yeah, this is the legit version of the game. The other version will work also. But yeah, I'm testing this on Steam anyway. So first of all, uh, let me show you the in-game settings which I'm using uh, before testing the mod. So right now I am on 1080p with uh, every graphics preset on medium you can see here with the hair works on grey um, Geralt only and rest of the settings are on medium uh, without the mod I'm getting around 60 fps in this uh, wild area I'm playing as Siri uh, in this mission you know uh, there is the story where he tells her past and everything so yeah it's right now around only 60 fps so why do we need to install this mod instead of using the dlss enabler and use the in-games dlss frame generation because that mod was uh, required to turn on the vsync in-game and also some users were having issue while installing dlss enabler and stuffs and it's etc etc so yeah this will be easier than that just paste the file and uh, do the stuffs i will teach you step by step so let's start this video without any delay now all right so after quitting the game uh you will find this file which is 3 fsr 3.1 feet uh, opti scaler so we're going to extract it to the desktop now after extracting this folder or these files need to be pasted in a little bit different location so i have seen many users pasting the mod in the wrong folder and uh, commenting that the mod is not working so we're going to open the folder now you will see all these files along with uh, one folder named paste if the game does not start it's simply uh, as simple as that you need to paste these two files if the game does not start but other than that you will be good with only these files so we're going to the installation directory of Witcher 3 for me which is here uh, common Witcher 3 so after opening Witcher 3 we will go inside the bean folder after that the x64 directx 12 I mean the game is required to DLSS to hook with the OptiScaler and DLSS can only be worked in the DirectX 12 version of the game so don't paste in this uh, bean folder you need to go inside the DirectX 12 folder and paste the mod right here so yeah we have pasted the mod right here it will ask you to replace maybe some one or two DLL uh, mostly the LiveXS and the NVGX uh, after pasting the mod we will go inside the DLSS overwrite folder we will say enable signature override so double click on that and after that click on yes and ok now the modding has been done what i will do now go inside the game and i will show you how to activate the hood fix how much fps we are getting and yeah i will talk about the mod also so let's dive into the game now updated list of rental games offline activation and some popular untried games is here feel free to pause the video choose your game come to discord and send message to the cheap games mine channel all right i am back inside the game and fps is still around the same because i have not activated the frame generation from the opti scaler so if you have done everything correctly you should now go to option video graphics and scroll down here uh, and you will be able to use the anti-aliasing to dlss even on uh, gtx and amd card if you have run the enable signature override so yeah you need to select the anti-aliasing to dlss and dlss quality you can set this to whatever you want quality balance performance so i'm just going to set it on quality uh, now one more thing for the rtx card users if you want to use the ray tracing this mod is not compatible with that you can just use the dlss enabler or the new cam 9 mod but yeah on this mod the ray tracing is broken if you activate it the game will crash when using the frame generation so yeah just a heads up now after setting the dlss on quality or balance whichever you want you need to go inside the game and press the insert slash ins key on the keyboard this kind of menu will open up you need to click on frame generation and select the fg hood fix to one don't need to select the extended or change the limit by any margin just select the hood fix and enable the frame generation and you will see the game is now working like the fsr 3.1 is installed the uh, like a native implementation the fps is uh, hovering around 110 to 120 in this direction so yeah it's almost double fps not almost it's actually the double fps from 60 to 120 and sometime even more higher 
you can feel the smoothness if you want to check the debug view you can just press the insert again and click on the fg debug view what is this debug view i have told it in my previous video that if you enable the debug view uh, you can see in this bottom right corner and the center uh, bottom uh, tiles that these two are the main tiles which you need to see the bottom right corner will be with hood the center bottom will be without the hood if these are similar to me then you should know that the frame generation is working correctly and the frames are real so yeah i'm just going to disable this one and maybe play around for a few minutes so the video really ends here now uh, if you want to join discord you can join the discord from the link in the description if this video helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers wait here don't come any closer but no buts stay